Hey everyone, Brian, Ramen Adventures here. Back at Slurp Ramen Joint. It's been a year and a half. We're here in Copenhagen. It's the summertime now. No more negative eight degrees. What's going on in Copenhagen this time? We're bringing a ramen shop from Tokyo. To do a pop-up here, Kikombo meets Slurp Ramen. Wait, what? Kikombo in Copenhagen? The idea was simple. Bring chef owner Miura-san and head chef Yamasan from Tokyo to Copenhagen to serve their signature devil ramen for a special weekend event. Stick around to see how the first Ramen Adventures overseas pop-up went. Before we could even think about the Kikombo Slurp pop-up, Ivan Orkin was in town for a pop-up of his own. Small world. Here in Copenhagen, and uh, it's a delightful place. I've uh, I've given up uh, taxis and Ubers for bicycles. Five days popping up with some really special people. And cheers to you for schlepping out and eating my ramen. I really appreciate it. Ramen is just the best thing in the world. This is a beer that we did specifically for this uh, this uh, event that we have in Ivan, Ivan Ramen uh, from New York. It's uh, uh, Slightly sweet lager, which is what we love to drink. So enjoy. This is a, a regional uh, plant that grows mainly on beaches called Dittender in England. This always happens. I travel for ramen and then end up meeting more people pushing ramen culture globally. David was a microbiologist turned ramen enthusiast. At the time of Ivan's pop up, he was busy preparing to open his own shop in Oslo, Norway after doing a couple of successful pop-ups in Copenhagen. His shop in Oslo plans to use local ingredients and Japanese technique to make his own take on ramen. Stay tuned, this one is high on my list of shops to visit someday. And it's actually already open, so let me know how it is in the comments. Ashtit. Yes, good stuff. A big concern here was the ingredients. Ramen, even just 400 servings, requires a massive amount of raw ingredients. A few hundred kilos of pork bones was completely out of the question, but we could definitely bring the spice from Japan. Kikombo's signature spice blend, as well as their secret miso blend. The airline allows 32 kilograms a person, and we hit just shy of 90. Ooh, giddy giddy safe. Hope it all makes it. <laughs> Pork in Denmark is of insanely high quality. Once we saw the slabs of belly meat, any worry about whether the chashi would be up to the standards of the combo were gone. We spent two days doing the prep for this event. Tonkotsu soup takes a long time. First, you gotta parboil the bones to remove as much blood and scum as possible. Then, hit them with that simmer. Hours later and the soup is creamy, thanks to a lot of fat emulsion going on. Keep going and going and going. Once it's perfect, filter it out and cool it down in the shop's fridge. Slurp Ramen Joint has some state-of-the-art equipment, like these 150-liter indirect heat pots. Easy! We got every last drop. On a side note, the dudes from Japan were super impressed with all this high-tech equipment. Kikombo is especially proud of their chashu. They take a specific part of the pork belly and stew it in a strong soy-based broth. Hints of cloves and star anise give it an intense taste, and a bit of sancho pepper ties it in with the rest of the bowl. Bonus! We brought over some of Kikombo's original candy. This stuff is made in a traditional way in Japan, and usually the only way to get a piece is to eat the super spicy devil level bowl in Tokyo. Speaking of devil level, shout out to all these devil level fans who flew in just for this ramen. Some of them came every day to crush bowls. How rad is that? Kikombo's devil level uses Trinidadian scorpion pepper. We brought in enough for about 20 servings. These peppers are hot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I just licked it. <laughs> 2012, 
Guinness champion pepper, the Trinidadian scorpion pepper. Ah, but just a little, a little flesh. That's all right. <laughs> To be honest though, the flavor is incredible. For a couple bites. Once that heat starts to sink in, anyone without that spice tolerance is quickly destroyed. What the fuck, bro? It's like, I don't know, a bomb, nuclear bomb in your mouth. <laughs> we had no idea how the Europeans would react to Kikobo's signature style. Is the volume good? Is the spice to their liking? Will they be bothered by standing in line? In the end, the only disappointed people were those who we had to turn away after we ran out of soup. Yo, I am super sorry to anyone who didn't get to try the ramen. We chose not to have a ticket reservation system, which in the end I think was a better move. By chance, the Mad Restaurant Industry Symposium was on when we were there. So there were a lot of big name foodies and chefs in town. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna get the dragon, just dragon, full dragon, full naming, full dragon. What's gun gonna? どうだったいや、すごい本当勉強になることがいっぱいで、やっぱりね、フィリップのお店はすごいね、やっぱ仕組みもしっかりしてて、システムもすごく良くて、逆に勉強させていただいてるんで本当にいい経験になってます。はい
thanks for watching another Roman Adventures video. I've got links in the description. I've got a merch account. If you like this video, like it, subscribe. If you really liked it, check out my Patreon account, and I am out of here.